Hi everyone and welcome to the Chef's Kitchen where Ingalls caters some of the best events anywhere. I'm Josh Michael here with Chef Kale and today we're showing you how to make some amazing food right there at your home. So Chef Kale, what are we doing today? We're going to do a stuffed butternut squash. Ooh, all right. I can smell the oranges already. That's they smell, right. They smell that's good. right. So what we're going to start with is a butternut squash. Okay. Now feel how hard that is. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a hard. So yes. pro tip right here is that you want to get a knife with a thicker tang and the tang is the part where the metal meets the handle. It makes it strong? Right, it, it okay. makes it a little bit stronger and all sturdy. Right. So you want to cut this um, vertically, Excellent. scrape out all the seeds, all right? We will throw some olive oil on there. Very nice. Some salt and pepper. Throw in a 350 degree oven. Depending, depending on the size, this one takes about 30 minutes. Okay. And all until right. pork tender. All right, so you're going for fork tender all the time. So when okay. it comes out, it looks ugly. Excellent. So let's let's make a stuffing for it, okay? All right. So we got some quinoa, and you just cook it according to the directions on the all packages. Right, and that's like almost like a grainy rice type thing. That's right. It's a nutty ancient grain. Okay. It's it's like a superfood too, right? It is. It has all the omegas that you could ever want. Okay. All right. So we have baby kale over there. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> Chef kale. Little name drop. <laughs> so baby kale is great because it's a little less bitey and a little less peppery all right. than regular kale. So while your quinoa is warm, you're going to put it right on your kale. Sorry, let me get right in there. Big pot. It's all good. And that's going to bring that's, the, the kale down, right? That's right. It's going to wilt it wilt, a little wilt bit. Wilt it, yeah. Yeah. All right. So just let that do its magic. And then you can add any dried fruit that you want. Okay. Today we chose uh, cranberries. Cranberries, all right. Excellent. And dates. Dates, dried dates, okay. That's right. And then go ahead and throw our chickpeas in. And this is a super well. healthy uh, meal, yeah, too. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's nice and hearty there. All right. And we're going to add some salt and pepper. Excellent. And then a little bit of olive oil. Nice. And all the dressing is is orange juice. Ah. Yeah. So you just squeeze right in there. Man, I'm telling you what. That's, go ahead and give it a stir. That's beautiful, too. Gosh. Yeah. And we can get that, and we're getting to that kale wilting up a little That's bit. That's right. There. That's right. And it'll take a minute. Okay. So then, to finish it off, mm -hmm. we're going to take the stuffing and put it right back. Let's go ahead and see it for the camera. All right. Put it right in there. And you're going to add, um, throw this back in the oven just for a minute, just to make sure that everybody's happy. Nice. All right. So, we'll get that. Ooh. Throw her in the oven. Magic TV. Let's see what it looks That's like. Right. And when it comes out, that is that awesome. is her. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Chef's Kitchen. For more great recipes and to learn about having the Chef's Kitchen cater your next event, you want to visit us at thechefskitchen.com. That's thechefskitchen.com. See you next time. Alex, great Chef Thank Gail. You. Look at that.